what you are seeing is an amazing piece of history. It's my hand. Just kidding. So hold tight. I, if I move it, I'm going to probably drop it. So give me one second. There we go. No, let me see. <laughs> Which way is the camera facing? Yeah, it's facing at me. Hi, everyone. Oh. Doing good. Marianne has a light, so I'm using my flashlight, which isn't working that well, but Ta-da! we're trying to make it work. <laughs> we're getting there. Hope you guys are doing good. Uh, for those of you that hung out with us during that live stream er earlier, that was cool. Thank you. Um, we made a post earlier today that we're coming back out to the infamous Pinwheel Cemetery. And so we're here right now. And um, it's super warm. It's like 30 degrees. I love it. Look, no gloves. Well, I'm still wearing gloves because, well, that's how I operate. I uh, just got a notification on my phone that, hey, we're going live. So just in case we didn't know. Guess we're live. Hi, Kelly. How you doing? Hey. Um, so, like I was saying, we're back here at the Pinhill Cemetery. Sorry. Finally, it's warmer, and we're able to uh, be up here without freezing our... Tukas off. Tukas is off. Hi, Susan. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Ashley. I'm glad you can see those names because I can't see anything right now. Well, that's why I'm Hi, hold... everybody. That's why I'm holding the phone. <laughs> okay, good. Um, so anyway, we're back here. And we walked around a little bit. Um, a lot of the snow has melted off the ground so we could actually see the dirt and see more of the headstones and everything, which is cool. Um, we did a walkthrough, see what was new. And so now we decided to set up the cat balls thank you again neva and we also set up try to position this. we also set up uh the flashlights and for those of you who know the cemetery ida so we got the two idas mm -hmm. so we set up a flashlight for each of the idas and we also set the cat balls up for a couple of the kids that are here and that do their thing so we do have something to show you that we did find down at the bottom of the hill. Um, after we're done a little bit here, we'll take you down there and show you what we found. It's actually pretty cool. We're just not sure what to do with it. Yeah. So um, we're going to walk you around. We're going to show you where we set the cat balls up and the flashlights, and then we're going to kind of go from there and uh, see what happens. So I gotta take my glove off so I can set this around. And I might just have to go with one glove. All right. So let's see if I can get the camera to focus. So we have a cat ball. Sorry for the noise, everybody, but we have a cat ball set up right there. I got this flashlight. Um, that's. On top of Durwood's headstone from 1900 to 1900, August to September. So we have one on here. Then we have one on Felix's headstone. Hi, TJ. Thanks for hopping back in. So Felix from 1894 to 1895, April to January. Cat ball on top of there. And then we have one over here. I can't read the name on this one anymore. So it looks like it broke and they had to cover it back up. But 1914, August 1st, 1914 to August 6th, 1914. We put a cat ball on the thing right in front of it. So... We have all that set up. Now, for the, the more interesting aspect, for those of you who know the cemetery, we have one Ida Viola. Which is the mom. Which is the mom or the grandma. I don't know if they ever um, it figured was, that it out. It was the mom. So, we have a flashlight sitting on top of there for communication with her. Then we have uh, flashlights. For the daughter, Isla, there's a flashlight there. And in Paris, we have a flashlight there. So we're going to try to do some communicating. I apologize about the noise, but there is a lot of 
semis going down the road down at the bottom of the hill. So you can't really see that. But oh, they're on. But, they both turn on. So it looks like Ida and Viola's light turned on already. And Paris's. Ida and Paris's. Oh, Ida and Paris's. Thank you. Can we have you turn that light off for us, Paris? I want to ask you some questions real quick. Keep them off. It's trying so hard. Okay, we need those lights off so we can start asking you some questions. And if any of the kids over here want to play with those plastic balls, you're more than welcome to because they they light up and they're really pretty. Now we got all three lights on. Let's do reverse psychology. <laughs> Yeah, as soon as it <laughs> turns off. <laughs> Marianne in a reverse psychology. Okay, so I'll turn off that last one, please. Oh, goodness. Stop touching them. Thank you. Okay, Ida, I need you to keep that off, all right? Remember, I brought you some tea. The tea was for the other Ida. Oh, that's right. She was the chocolate. Ah, oh, dang, Paris, knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you turn off all the lights for us? Hi, Selena. <laughs> now we got all three lights working. Turn them all on. I think they just like them on. Ida, Paris, would you mind turning those off, please? Hi, Neva. Okay, one more to go. Hey, Angie. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to cooperate with the lights. Well, if you don't turn those lights off, I'll have to come down and turn them off myself. Hey, Dexadex, how you doing? I'll give you a count of three to turn off all, all the lights. One. Two, three. You can tell that one's trying yeah, to turn trying. it off. Okay, yeah. I'm going to come turn that off if you don't do it before I get to you. Here I come. Can we hold it for you? All right, there we go. Okay, again, if any of those kids want to play with the balls, you're more than welcome to. They won't hurt you. And you two just decided to turn yours back on. Okay, Ida, Paris, I need those lights off, please. I'll give you the count of three, and I'll come turn those ones off again. One. This time all three of them are working well. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Maybe we'll just let you play with them for a minute and kind of get, get the feel for them. So for everybody who just tuned in, um, just to give you an update, since there's more of you here, uh, Neva, we put your cat balls on these three kids' headstones. Okay. They, the ages range from a couple of months to almost a year. To almost a year. We're going to try these balls here. To, to a stillborn. To a stillborn. Then we put a flashlight on Ida, the mom, Ida, the, Ida, the daughter, and then on Paris's side. So now's your chance to ask a question while they're all off. Marianne. Oh, I'm asking a question? Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. This is going to get very difficult. Okay, so... Oh my <laughs> gosh, for real. Maybe they're just so excited they have something to communicate with. I know. Oh, I should have brought the pinwheel up here. What? That was, yeah. a, that was a hard on, huh? Oh, <laughs> 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 Shoot. 
That was very bright. That was very bright. Please edit that, that comment. Bright. Ignore that. She even said bright. <laughs> <laughs> bleep, bleep. No, but. Okay, so. Freak. She turned hers off too. Okay. Thank you. All right. Who wanted the chocolate? Turn on your light if you wanted the chocolate. Somebody asked us to bring chocolate out here. Is that you, Ida? If that was you, turn the light back off to confirm that. If you're the one who wanted the chocolate, we need you to turn the light back off again. On the count of three. One. Two. Three. Now they're all on. They, they all, all, they want, all want, chocolate. want the chocolate. Okay. All right. So if you wanted the tea, turn your light off. Yeah, there it is. Ida turned hers off. Yep, and Ida, the elder, is trying. Okay, well, earlier before we went live, yeah. Ida down there actually said that she was the one that she wanted, wanted the, the tea. tea. So we did bring you tea, Ida. We also brought chocolate. Who wants the chocolate? Turn Yay. it off on the count of three. One, two, three. It's peppermint. Well, Ida back there turned hers off. I know. I just figured I'd give it another shot. Hmm. Now, I also have... <laughs> Paris is like, me! Me, me! All right. I also have some hard tack candy. Um, Ida and Paris might understand it more as lollipops. I know that was coming out a little bit more around their, their day. But uh, hard tack, it's hard tack on a stick. So I, I have some sweets. Yep, they all want it. <laughs> they all want the sweets. <laughs> they all want the sweets. Now, now, kids, we know you're over here. We haven't forgot about you. I brought you some, too. All you have to do is light up those balls to let us know you want some candy. That doesn't sound like stranger danger. Well, we're not because <laughs> we're talking to their parents, too. That's true. So, the parents. I got candy. Yeah, it's different when we have the parents with us. Yeah, okay? it's true. So if any of the kids want any of this candy also, just light up a ball so we know that you want some as well. And if that's okay with the parents... Oh, that scared the issues. shit out of me. Curse. <gasps> yeah, that was the caca. That I, the yeah, caca I don't even care. That scared me. That scared me bad. <laughs> that was me and my keys. Sorry, oh my guys. Oh my gosh. Right. <sighs> so hopefully the parents are okay with the kids having some candy as well. I don't think they'll stay up all night. I don't think... Let's see. Chadwick... And that was an Atwood, right? And the, this is a Chadwick, so they're related somehow, but I don't know if it was hers. Well, either way, they're the parents that are watching over them. Yeah. So. YouTube is slacking again. Sorry about that. Um, Alright, well, we gotta go... Did we bring the tea here? Oh, yeah, I have it right here. Yeah. Uh, let's. Here, I'll light it up and then you can prepare the tea for them. Okay. Where am I speaking? Yo, my phone is turned down. You're listening to my phone. Oh, the gong. No, the oh. gong isn't turned down. <laughs> so be prepared. Every time at the cemetery. Every time at the cemetery. This cemetery goes off. We have a gong. No gong. Hi, Tammy. Hope you're doing good. We're out here in 30 degrees and loving it. <laughs> so we are talking to the spirits of Ida, Ida, and Paris. And hopefully some kids, if they respond to us playing with the cat balls. And Mama's pouring some tea for Ida. It's tea. Okay. Now we did find some uh, traces of coyote doo-doo. Doo -doo. So we are keeping our eyes out for coyotes. And their doo-doo. Yeah. 
Because we don't want coyote doo doo. Preferably not the coyote. Either. We don't want to become coyote doo doo either. That is absolutely true. Okay. So here is the tea. Hey, Sunflower, how you doing? Thanks for hopping over. Gosh, this smells really good. Hi, Gordon. It's warm. It's nice and warm tea. Yep. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, deliver it to Ida because okay. she did ask for you it. You said it was which one? Because I thought I. The daughter. The daughter, okay. All right, so we have it. So last time we were here, for those of you who don't know it, um, we were doing the necrophonics. It was too cold, so we were in the car. Oh, thank you, Tammy. You're incredible. Thank you so much. Tammy gave us one ninety nine. Oh, Tammy, you were so amazing. Thank you, love. Uh, tip tip of M. What does that taste like? Have you had it before? I have not had that before. It smells pretty good, mm -hmm. but I haven't had it before. So maybe when I get home. For those of you uh, who didn't see that previous episode when we came out here and it was a horrible fell. Well, it wasn't a fail, but it started off as a fail, but then we turned it into a success. Uh, they told us through the necrophonics that they wanted a cup of thistle tea mm -hmm. and some chocolate. Yes. So we brought them some thistle tea and some chocolate tonight for telling them thank you for communicating with us. So... So Ida, you like do you like that tea? Is it okay? Does it smell good? Nice and warm. It's almost like she's making drinks. Yeah. All right. I'm glad you like it. Feel free to share if you want. Selena, hey Marianne, try the tea with a little honey and lemon. Well, we didn't bring honey and lemon. But when I get home, I'll try it. But she'll try it when she gets home. Angie Crop, holy crap! <laughs> hey girl, thank you. That was awesome. Wow, you are amazing. You are amazing. Yeah. You, you guys are the ones that keep us going. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That is way cool. You guys are so generous. Definitely we can't thank you enough. Um, man, I wish you guys could see the stars out here tonight. It is completely clear. And there are so many stars up here. Yeah, all they see is blackness. I know, but I wish you could see them. It's just amazing. We'll, we'll have to do a long, what, what do you call it, long exposure? Oh, I don't have that Something camera or other with thing, but, Oh, well, one of the days. One of the days we will. We'll though. do it. We'll give them a shot. All right, Paris, can you turn that light off? Paris. <laughs> off. <laughs> off, not on. I have chocolate, too, so hang on. I'm going to give you one if you can cooperate with me. And then kids, don't forget, you can play with those balls. It's all right. They light up when you move them, so it's really neat when you see it. Waka waka. <laughs> what the heck? That's what Sunflower said, so let's just oh, repeat okay. it. Oh, okay. Waka waka. Waka waka. Don't leave the chocolate. No, I won't. I don't want the, the animal. I don't want to attract animals and stuff, but... Mm -hmm. Sorry, Tammy, you can't sleep. I know what that feels like. Ugh, it's the worst. All right, can we try to try? <laughs> Laughy emoji with a pig nose. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Hey, Kimmy. I heard you were voted to be on our next uh, Sunday fam chat. Yeah. You don't have to do the video if you just want to do the audio. Okay. It'll be like a telephone call. But it sounds like everybody voted you in to be on the next episode of Tip of Fam Chat. And it sounded like you had a cool story, too. I only got part of it, but it sounded like it was really cool. Um, Sunflower had caffeine, so. Oh, I feel you, sister. Holy smokes. I, I loaded up on coffee beans before we left, and he, he's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, we have some interesting footage on that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Ida, which one of you was the mother? Uh, 
I heard the bark. You hear it? Yep. Coyotes don't bark like that, do they? I don't think so. Well, yeah, the audio thing, that, that's how Dexadax did it when she was on the first episode. So if you don't want to be on the camera, you could just talk like you're on the phone with us. It, it's really fun. You'll have a good time with it. So see, even Ida mom, Ida elder agrees. You're going to have a good time with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you think Kim should be on an episode of Tippa Sunday Fam Chat, shut off a flashlight on the count of five. One, two, three. Shut one off, guys. We're all coming shut it off. I know. I'm like, you better. Four. I have the chocolate. <laughs> she has the chocolate. <laughs> Five. Oh, you all suck. <laughs> oh, oh I, uh, I, they're trying to. They're trying. Oh, thank oh. you. <laughs> okay. The spirits have voted. <laughs> Kim is going to be on an episode. <laughs> Yay, Kimmy! Yay. <laughs> Look, they're both trying so hard. That was on seven. That was on seven. <laughs> well, they count slower than I do. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Time's different, you know. Yeah, maybe I was actually only on three and they were just trying to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're stuck, Kimmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on, Kimmy. You know you want to do it. It's fun. We're All not right. going to make you, if you no. want to, but I think it would be amazing. I think it would be really fun. It'd be funny to make her. How would we do that? Just find her number and call her. And oh, Hi, be... you're on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Click. <laughs> <laughs> Your dial tone does not work at the current moment. <laughs> <laughs> So, Ida, Paris, we read your story about what happened in Salt Lake. Last time we were here, we were talking about it, and Marianne asked Ida a question. If you remember that question, can you turn the light off? I don't remember the question. No, I'll remind you. I got a lot of questions. Yeah, you do. All right. I can see you're trying to turn it off. Okay, I'll give you a reminder. She asked you if you forgave Paris for what he did. And your answer touched a lot of people that night. Do you remember now? Turned mm -hmm. off. Yep. We believe your answer was that you said you did forgive him. After all that, you that you that you forgave him. Oh, there you go. Lights back on. Yep. yep. That's a solid. That's a yeah. solid yes. Yeah, Selena's uh, pointing out over on Discord. We have their whole story posted over there. It's mm -hmm. a pretty fascinating story, actually. Um, Tammy Trot, thank you for joining the member program. She is now officially a random nut. Woo, Tammy! <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining the members. You're amazing. Um, but yeah, Ida, when you told us that you forgave him after what he did to you, that, that was a very special moment for a lot of people. We wanted to thank you for that. Um, one question I had was when I was outside of the car and Marianne was on the inside of the car mm. talking, a few people thought they heard my voice outside of the car. Do you know if that was by chance Paris they heard talking? Paris, if that was you, turn that flashlight off so I, so they know it was you and not me. I 
might have turned hers off. Paris is trying to. At least it looks like he is. Was Wait. that you, Paris, that they heard? Be cool if that flashlight just rolled right off. All right. All right, well, it was somebody they were hearing. So I'm still curious to figure out who that was. Can uh, any of you ask these kids over here to try to move one of these plastic balls? Or go over there and move it for them so they could see it light up? Would you be able to do that? You guys move the pinwheel very, very well. So I have no doubt that you'd be able to um, move those those balls to light up. A lot of them are very easy to move. Mm -hmm. So um, let's see. Neva had a question. She asked, I believe, if the toys were still there. Um, still the the two out of the three. So I'm going to flip this viewer around so they can stare at my ugly mug. Is that too bright? Yeah. Let me let me try this. I'll try it this way. Okay. So yes, the toys are still there. Ooh, this looks spooky. Ooh. Spooky. Be afraid. <laughs> um, yes, two of the toys were still there. The third one was missing, but we found something that left us a little confused. And we're actually debating on what we should do with it. Um uh, so I wonder if we should take them down and show them what I'm talking about real quick. Yes, let's do that. Let's okay. let's do that. Hey, spooky cuties. Okay. All right, you so, guys. We're gonna be right back. Okay. Help help the kids or help yourself figure out how to work the cat balls. Okay. They're fun little toys. So. All right, guys. Yeah, me and my big fingers getting in the way too. They're all that mom walk in front of me. So the toys that I never was asking about, we brought down one of the first times we were here. They're right there. Let's see if we can get a focus in on it. So two of them are right there. The third one's been missing ever since we came back. We call him the little rocker dude. Don't know where he went. Nope. He the whole place. But there is something that was really weird out here that we found on our way in. There there it is. It was Marianne. That was weird. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go with that. Her humor was not with that one today. Oh that's the weird looking over here. Alright. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Well we know that uh a lot of our fam likes to see the pinwheel. <laughs> Sorry, Kibby, we didn't mean to shake you by that Ouija. So if one of the spirits here that are with us tonight wouldn't mind coming and spinning that pinwheel for us again. We've seen you work your magic many a times and we've seen that thing spin pretty fast. I was wondering if you could try it again. Would you mind trying to give it a nudge and get it to spin? Now this is the same pinwheel. It's not even really trying this time, no. huh? Mm -mm. They're probably still up there with the flashlights. Playing with the flashlights, yeah. All right, well, I want to show you what we were talking about that we found. I'm going to follow Marianne, so I don't fall and land on my tuchus. I've never even said the word tuchus until I got with Marianne. <laughs> I would never think of saying the word took us until I got with Marianne. But now took us is a normal word for me to say. Okay. What an influence I have. On the took us. <laughs> On the took us. So we came down here and like I said before, the snow is gone. Um, so we are actually able to see that this bench was on concrete. There was a little plaque here. It says Dominic Jansen Eagle Project 2016. So while we were down here, we found something rather interesting.
and I'll move around. Move around. That. That was hanging there on the tree. Just as it is. Now I looked a little closer at it, and I don't know how well I'll be able to show you through the camera, but it looks like there's a little oh, where'd my hand go? It looks like there's a little diamond on it. On the other side of it, this says time true. Kind of hard for me to show you that, but it says time true. Then the other two pieces just have little little grooves etched in it. And you couldn't really read anything it said on it though. So we're not sure if that was left for us or if we should be leaving that or what we ought to do with it. Even try to use it for a piece of communication. You guys let us know what you think we should do because I'm afraid if we leave it here somebody's just going to either ruin it or it's just going to rust and fall apart but I don't know I'm hearing that buzzing sound please don't do what my brother done in the cemetery his foot went down a hole I uh, lost the rest of it oh. So let us know what you think we should do about this necklace that we found hanging here. If we should leave it, or if we should take it, or what. But we're a little, little, little unsure on what we should do about that. But we're going to leave it in the meantime until we hear what you guys think. Katie says take it with you. One vote for take it. One vote for take it. Uh, got another vote for take it. Three votes for take it. What? There's two lights on in there, but that's not us. What are those lights? Oh, I see them. Because our flashlights are way Those look like the cat balls. What the heck is that? It's, it's, it's closer. It's closer to Unless it's reflecting off of something. No, that was the flashlights. Yeah, those were the flashlights. Oh, I'm good. I just cut my foot. Yeah, those were the flashlights you were seeing. <sighs> it was. You freaked the hell out of me, but it was. My backpack. No, it's my backpack reflector. My backpack's on the ground. Oh, I saw the flashlights. I saw the orange lights. Well, yeah, but I was looking at these two lights on the reflector lights on my backpack. Oh, when I was but looking. It wasn't down. It wasn't down? No, it wasn't. I sat it up. I, it's these two I thought that I was, I was looking at. But Did you have it I sitting up? It, yeah, I had it sitting up. And I remember, because it's sloping down, I remember propping it up. See, now it's not even sitting. It's, it was even further back than this. So it fell down? Yeah, and this was, I had stuck this, I thought I stuck this back in here, but maybe I didn't. That's so weird. That was very weird. I don't know, I can't even get it to go back to where I had it. That's a little closer, but weird. Did one of you, one of you knock her bag over? I mean, I guess something could have shifted it. It was set back enough to where it was stable. That's crazy. Yeah. Who hmm. knows? All right. Well, have you been able to figure out the cat balls yet? Try to get those to work. I'm over here squirreling out like Marianne right now. I can't stay focused on nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, so can we get one of those candles to light up yet? Hmm. 
Never said strange. Just glad it wasn't eyeballs, right? Oh my gosh, I know. Can you turn off the light again for us? Keep it all the way out. You take your light off that for a sec. You can't tell. Looks like they're all weak now. Yeah. Partied hard, huh? Are you feeling too tired, Dow? Did that take a lot of your energy? If it did, and you want us to give you a break. Hi, Trudy. Thanks for hopping in. If you want us to give you a break, just shut off all the flashlights all the way, and we'll, we'll give you a break from that for a minute. Keep thinking I'm hearing coyotes and stuff walking around. But... I know. Doing good, just sitting out here in 30 degree weather, loving life, loving the journey. <laughs> yeah. What light just turned off? My pocket, the oh. flashlight in my pocket. We wish you guys could really see the sky right now, though, because you could oh, just man. see so many stars. The it's sky is just lit up with stars. It's such incredible. a clear night. <sighs> oh. All right, well, if you want us to let you rest for a while, just let us know and turn off all the flashlights. And cut them off all the way. If you want us to stay, turn them all on as bright as you can. And that's Marianne's that was my light. light. It's acting up. Yeah, it looks like they're just getting dim, but not quite going out. Oh, Ida's went bright. Ida's lit up pretty quick. Paris's is still pretty dim. And so, so for like the men, you had this, you know, like Adam Sr. and Adam Jr. Mm -hmm. Do they have something similar to that for the females? I don't know. I, I just been calling her Mama Ida. So Mama Ida? Whoa. Did you hear that? No. It almost sounded like a squeal of a bird by my whole head. I'm not hearing anything now. Nope, me neither. Weird. So. Sorry for that. That was crazy. Yeah, it was weird. Sorry. All right. No, now I heard something over this way. Yeah, you hear it? It just sounds like that. All right, I think we need to bring the fam with a little explore for with us. Oh, man. So we're hearing noises. You're going on a walkabout. Let's see what's going on over here. Now we just charged everybody up. We know the quality of uh, these phone signals going live aren't the greatest, but you can keep an eye out for us. Mary Ann's recording with her fancy dancy camera. That's the technical term. And I'm just walking around holding the phone like I know what I'm doing with the flashlight. I keep hearing stuff. Sorry, we're not talking a whole lot. We're just trying to focus on what's going on around us. I'm 
So that's where we were at, it was over on the other side of that corner. No, we don't have a ram pod. We'd like to get one one day, though. Marianne was thinking we had one, but we don't. And there's where the coyote droppings are and stuff. Mary Ann was pointing out that it was a little weird back here that there's a little little section where there's the ass truck. There's a little section here where it looks like something goes through the bushes. A little pathway. Fortunately there's nothing in it right now, but with our luck. I'd stick my head down there one time and there'll be something staring back at me. We don't need that right now. Don't lose your head. Don't lose my head. Let's check over here real quick. I don't know if coyotes attack, but I don't want to find out. I guess if they're hungry enough, they might. If they're rabid. I think they're more scared. But... Nevis says yes, they do. All right, so it looks like the fenced-in area is clear. So. Yeah, there's a hole under the fence, though. Like, there's, you know. Yeah, I don't see any tracks there, though. Well. So, looks like we might be safe for a minute. Uh, I'm gonna switch hands again because my head's getting a little cold. Oh, this is crazy. I think that's our car way down there. I don't see anything. Did you wanna go there? No, I think it's okay. Alright. Let's go see if the cat balls are lighting up. Then we'll go from there. But don't forget guys, for those of you that aren't aware of it, uh, we're planning on doing a road trip here in May where we're going to travel around the country and try to meet up with as many people in the country as we can. So any help you can give us would be greatly appreciated. Liking, hitting that like button, sharing the videos out with other people on your other social media things. Anything you can do to help share it, let more people aware of us, uh, helps us tremendously. So. We appreciate everything you guys do. I don't know what the conversation was about, but I looked down and I see TJ say, I miss mm -hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but, uh, all right, so the cat balls. Are you not able to, to use any of them? Is it too hard for you? Ida, or Ida, can you come yeah. over and move one of the cat balls? The plastic toy balls that we put over here? Did you close that? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. It bothers me when it's open every time I come up, so I shut it. Yeah, it is kind of weird. Usually, the first time we came in, it was closed. Yeah, yeah. So. Every time I've, every time afterwards, though, it's been open. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, watches the discovery. I hate Google Voice, it's a pain in my ace. You're mm -hmm. right. Thanks for sharing us out on Titter, Tammy. Titter, <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> <laughs>
Look at this laugh. Look at this laugh. This laugh says it all. It's okay. I made a blunder tonight, too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you for sharing us on Twitter. <laughs> Our lips are frozen. <laughs> I'm going to go with I have frozen lips. <laughs> <laughs> Only on Twitter. <laughs> wow, that came out just too fast and too wrong, too quick. <laughs> As soon as it came out of my mouth, I realized I said the wrong thing. Oh, trust me, you and me both. <laughs> you knew I said the wrong thing too. No, huh? when I said my my blunder. Mm. Uh, never thought it was pretty funny. So it's true. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> too funny. All right. All right. Well, who wants chocolate? <laughs> I'm yeah. ready for chocolate. Looks like they're laughing it off pretty good. So, apparently, I have speaking issues, <laughs> and Gwen wants chocolate. Yes! Everybody gets chocolate! Everybody needs a bosom for a pillow. <laughs> send me the link to that song. I, I don't think I have that, but send me the link to that song. I'll be uh, curious about that one. <laughs> um, but I'm going to... We're going to go ahead and uh, wrap this up for the live stream for right now. Um, from what I saw, you all voted that we should take the necklace. So we will. We'll, we'll take the necklace with us. Uh, we're going to stick around a little bit longer, try to communicate with the flashlights a little bit more. Maybe try to do a necrophonic session and um, see if we get some more results from it. Um, called brimful of asher all right all right but uh we love you guys again thank you for coming on hanging out with us on this stream because it was definitely a unique one mm -hmm. and we will talk to you guys later love you bye <laughs>